Thanks for joining Earth Radio. Today we have Digital Asset News speaking on the concept of Bitcoin's current supply and demand. If you like our summary videos, check out the Earth Experiment at earth.io. I just want to talk real quick about, this is from uh, CJ over at uh, Morocco Rebellion. He pulled this, this chart. He goes, look, throughout the past year alone, 3% of the circling supply has migrated out of exchange. Talking about Bitcoin and into third-party wallets. Now, just 12%, 12% of Bitcoin's circulating supply are held in exchanges. That's the lowest amount ever. This could be interesting. Let me blow this up real quick so you can see. So as you can see, we've had quite a big dr drop off of everybody over the past year. So the question then is, well, why is this important? Who cares if more people have a ton of Bitcoin in their personal wallets? So if you're new to crypto, welcome. Uh, but as people have already known, as they've gone through this journey, the more people that take their cryptocurrency, Bitcoin included, off of the exchange and put in the third wallets, means that they're not going to sell it. They're just going to sit on it for quite some time. Once they go to transfer massive amounts or even any amount uh, to an exchange, that means the exchange does one thing, sells your crypto. So if you're taking it off, that means you're going to hold for a while. And if you're holding for a while, there's a bunch of people who want what you have, what happens? Well, if you have a, uh, a lot more demand and you have limited supply, what happens to the price? Usually goes up. 